Okay, kids, you ready for school? Yes, mom and dad. Good, now we'll drop you guys off because the school bus has been broke down. Let's go. All right now. We are going to be late for school all because of this traffic. Don't worry, you'll make it. The teacher better not do something bad to you or we can confront her and pull you guys out. That's a good plan. I hope the teacher don't get angry with us. True, because if she does, she'll be in big trouble by us. Good morning, children. I hope you're ready for an another day of learning. Craig and Catherine are both late, so I'll give them detention. I expect everyone in my class on time. Sorry we're late. There was a huge traffic jam. There was a car accident that these f***ers don't know how to drive and focus on roads. Young lady, we do not tolerate swearing in class. That is not okay. You know what, that's it. For being late and swearing in class, you will be having detention today. What did she just say? So do you, Craig. You will also have detention as well for being late with your sister. Your sister is having detention too for swearing and being late. What the heck, detention, but I didn't do anything. It's that the traffic was backed up due to a car accident. That isn't fair. Well, sometimes, Craig and Catherine, life isn't fair. Now go sit your butts down right now. You two are stupid. What the freak is wrong with you, Miss Cobb? That was really rude, you know. <laughs> what the heck is wrong with you, Miss Cobb? You freaking made my sister cry. I am going to go tell the principal on you. And you'll get fired for how the way you're treating us and giving us detentions for no reason. That's it. You are now going to detention. Get a grip, you know. The hell, I am alone. Shut up or you will join detention as well. This isn't fair. We got sent to detention for nothing we didn't do. Just because we are late for school, don't mean we have to be in detention for it. I agree, Catherine. This is the most stupidest school we've ever been to. The teacher is a rude prick. I said no talking in detention. Oh, 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 how dare you talk in detention. That's it. I will now beat you up with a club for your punishments. We've been here in detention all day. We got injured by our teacher beating us up by her club a while ago. I agree, Craig. We did not eat and drink the whole day because our teachers stole our backpacks and stole our drinks and our lunch. It's about dismissal time right now. It's 3.30. Good afternoon, everybody. We hope you have a great day at school. It is dismissal time. Have a good day. You two get back here. You already told us what Miss Cobb did to you guys. Thank you for telling us, we can't believe she gave you guys detention all because you were late, and she even beat and abused you in detention with a club. But don't worry, you're good, we are angry because that prick did that to you guys. We can't believe she stole your backpack, and stole your drinks and your lunches, don't worry, we can get you Wendy's, and we'll have a talk with that Karen. Don't worry, we're not angry with you, we're angry about that rude prick what she done to you guys, don't worry, you guys will never ever go to that school ever again, you'll go to another school to be safe. Yes, thanks mom, me and my brother are all better now since we're having Wendy's. We sure do, thank you for the comfort. Okay kids, we are now here, just stay in the car, after this, don't worry, you will never see that rude lady ever again. What do you want? We want to have a word with you about giving our two kids detention all because we were late all because of the stupid traffic jam. And they told us about what you did to them today. We are very angry with you right now. And we are going to get on you for treating bad to our children. Um, yeah, Mr. and Mrs. Dunham, I do not tolerate students being late for class, and I allow child abuse because it's their punishment, and I drag them to detention and abuse them with my club because they were late. Look lady, you can't give our children detention and abusing them all because they were late. We know this because they told us, so after this, 
We are pulling our kids out of that school because you are a little punk. It doesn't matter. That was still breaking my school rules. I give them detention and, and I beat them up with my bat for their punishment because they've been late. Get a grip of yourself, haha. -ha. Get out of my house. And also, I think I should give kidnap your children, have them detention inside my house because of you two interfering. Now you just listen here, you entitled punk. You will not be giving our two kids detention and abuse them all because they were late. Do you want to know why? Because we are taking these two out of your god dang school, and we will keep them at home until we find them another school, because we don't want them going to a school where their teachers give them detention and abuse them. So, you. Come here right now. Oh heck no, they just took off flying, well. I think I should break in their house tonight and take their children away so I can have them detention inside my house. Now me and Cray got on our pajamas. And then we are going to go to bed because we are tired. We know, and don't worry, we already got you out of that stupid school, you will stay home until we find you in another school. And you'll never see that pricky rude lady ever again. Good night mom and dad. Good night, kids. It is not fair. Why didn't I ever kidnap their kids? They drove off fast. Oh yeah, I found out the address. I will break inside and kidnap their kids so I can lock them up in my house for their punishment. Let's go. It's already 12.58 in the morning. Don't worry honey, I am now calling the police. And while you do that, I've got to go grab a shotgun. <coughs> Leave my children alone! No. <coughs> go down! Andrea Lois Cobb, you have been found guilty for abuse and assault to the Dunham's children at school and at their house, for that Miss Cobb, I sentence you 60 years in Ohio State Prison. What? 60 years, I'm 41 years old, I'll be 101 and I won't ever live 60 years in prison, I might die by then, this is not fair. You better shut your mouth right now. Stop talking right now miss! I'm going to beat you up. You are sentenced 75 years in prison for abuse and assault at Mikovich Middle School, burglary, kidnapping, and kicking a police officer. I'm sorry for being a bad teacher. Ha ha, too late now. Life is over now for me. I'm only 41, and I'm sentenced 75 years. Life isn't fair. I won't make it to 75 years. Don't worry, you will never see that ugly lady ever again. She'll never mess with you guys ever again. Yes, Ma and Pa, we are happy she's in jail. We can now live happily ever after. The end. The Minnesota Animation Company, at Minneapolis, Minnesota.